Hi everybody, this is Carol Hill. Today is July 23rd, 2019. And this is just a short video on how to edit the places and standardize them in FamilySearch. So let's go ahead and get started. I am here on one of my ancestors in FamilySearch. I'm on the details or person page. And as you can see, if I come look at her birth, there is this place in Germany and if I didn't understand where that was, I wouldn't know it's abbreviated, and so I wouldn't know where in the world that was. And as you can see, if you hover over this, do you see the little pop-up that comes down and tells you where the place should be? So what we're gonna do is I would like to have that in the standardized place. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this edit right by the birth. There's a little edit. This brings this pop-up window. And then what I can do, here's this place that's suggested as a standardized place. And this is what is on my record right now in Family Search. And so what I can do is just go ahead and click in here and I can back up. And then this drop down comes down and, and there's a several, you have to be really careful with Germany. There's several options, but this is the one I believe is the right one because I know it's in Mulheim, Lorach, Baden, Germany. So I would go ahead and click that. And as you do, when I click that, you can see it pops it up here to the birthplace, and it also gives you this pin, which will actually put it on the timeline, which I'm gonna show in a minute. And then for the reason, I would just say that I standardized the place. That's all you need to do. It's just, that's all we're doing in there is just standardizing it. You'd also wanna go ahead and standardize the date as well, but I've shown that in another video, and it's pretty much the same. So that is how you do the standardization on the details page, but let's go to the timeline because I wanted to show you that too. It's kind of fun. This is, I think, pretty new and I, and I like it. So here I am on their marriage and it just says this, um, I don't know how to say that, but Mingen, Baden, Germany, but as I hover over it, it says it's actually in Freiburg as well. So I can actually edit the place right from here. And also you can do the dates as well. But what you're gonna do here is see how this pops up. I think something's a little wrong because it says unknown name. But what you're gonna do is I'm just gonna come here to the marriage and put edit right there. And then the marriage date, I also could edit. <laughs> but down here is the place. And so to standardize it, I just wanna get that Freeburg in there. So if I click in there and just backspace, this pops up and now I can just click there and it standardizes it. It also puts the little pin that's gonna go on the timeline. And then I would go ahead and say standard, standardized place and do the save. And then that's gonna save it. And then to get out of here, see how this pops up here now, we're just gonna click this X and that'll just put that pop out window away. And now look, if you look at the marriage, there I've got the date, and then I've also got the place. And I would go back to and standardize the, the date as well. And it's the same technique, and I've shown that in a previous video. So anyway, let me know. And then as you can see over here are the different pins, depending on you know the event in the person's life. And we'll talk about that in another video. But anyway, I hope you are having a great day. Remember, you can change and edit places to standardize them in the details or the timeline. So have a good one.